If you've ever had to get your phone repaired, whether that meant mailing it back to the OEM or personally taking it to a repair shop, you've likely been advised to back up your data and then perform a factory data reset to ensure the safety of your private data. This can be a hassle since you are not only already having to go without your daily driver until it has been repaired, but you also need to set your phone back up again and restore your backed up data. And this is where Samsung's maintenance mode comes into play. The goal is to provide a way to keep all of your apps, contacts, text messages, photos, and videos on your device without having to worry about the repair staff being able to access it. The feature was first introduced to the Galaxy S22 series with One UI 5, but has since rolled out to other Samsung Galaxy smartphones and tablets as well. Not only does it prevent another person from accessing your important data, but it will also delete any data and user accounts that were created while the device was in maintenance mode. To enable this feature, we first need to open up the settings application. And then we're gonna scroll down a little bit until you see the battery and device care menu. From, From here, we're gonna scroll down again and you should be able to see the maintenance mode feature for supported devices. Now we just need to tap on the blue turn on button here and then we should be instructed to restart the phone. You could also restart without creating a log. However, we're just going to restart the phone as normal. So it's going to create the log, which will normally take about two minutes. And then after that phone has been created, the phone will reboot into maintenance mode so that you can hand it over to your repair person or ship it to the OEM. So after about two minutes, the phone automatically turned off and then it began the reboot process. So far, the boot cycle has looked exactly the same as it would if we did a normal reboot. However, as you saw, the phone started with an optimizing apps task, and then we saw that maintenance mode pop up down there at the bottom. So while our Samsung Galaxy smartphone or tablet is in maintenance mode, we're gonna get this watermark at the bottom left corner, which is very similar to safe mode. And just like with safe mode, we have a notification here telling us that our phone is in maintenance mode and that we can tap on this notification to exit it. We can see that all of my third-party applications and games are disabled while we are in maintenance mode. We don't even have any grayed out icons like we are used to seeing in safe mode. And then if we try to open up something like our contacts app, you can see it's actually empty since all of our personal data is not accessible while we are in maintenance mode. Now turning off maintenance mode on Samsung Galaxy smartphones and tablets can be done only by the owner of the phone. If the repair person were to try to reboot out of maintenance mode, then you're going to see the pin pattern or password lock screen come up. Since the repair person or the OEM you have sent the phone to does not have this, then they are not able to disable and exit maintenance mode. They also don't need that 
to unlock the device either. So let's go ahead and exit maintenance mode. And doing so will result in our smartphone or tablet turning off and then booting back up just like it normally would. Maintenance mode would be a great feature to see in other Android devices, and it would be nice if Google added such an option to the core AOSP build. We could see this happen in the next couple of years, as Google tends to take their time when developing these types of features. But for right now, I appreciate the fact that Samsung took the initiative and is offering such a feature for their Galaxy devices. I have yet to find a list of all of the devices that support this feature, so use the comment section below to share which Samsung Galaxy device you own and whether or not you have access to this maintenance mode feature.